Carajo. Hello, my Gemini friends. It's Guiding Halo. This is going to be your money, finance, and career reading for March. Let's find out what's, what you're dealing with right now and what will be coming in. What are they dealing with right now? If love shows up in your reading, it's because your love life is affecting your money. Or the lack of money is, or more money is affecting your love life. Okay? Could be about family. Could be about anything. But whatever it is coming in is going to be affecting your money. Or vice versa. The sun, beautiful, happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. This is what's happening right now. That's beautiful energy. Congratulations, my Gemini friends. Knight of Swords, events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options. You will find creative solutions. So well, that's excellent news. You guys are creative by nature. So... That shouldn't really be surprising. All right, tell me about this very ha big happiness that you're having right now, or should be having, or seeing it as happiness. Looking at your options, which way you wanna move forward. You're looking at them, pros and cons of each situation. There's some sort of confusion around it because you're not putting yourself into the situation. You're not taking your energy and seeing how you change the pros and cons in either way. So make sure that you take a look at that. Tell me more about this happiness, please. Good news coming in from a distance. Very passionate news. These could be the rods of love coming your way. There's great clarity being shed on something here. Very great clarity. The sun brings clarity. You can see all around for a long time. There, you're on a very spiritual journey. Learning, I believe, between the indecision and how indecision brings manipulation in your life. It's like you, you're you in your own mental fuckery. That's what it's like. There is a wish granted coming with communication from a distance. It could be a Leo coming in with the sun card here. Someone may want to travel. <laughs> travel. Some of them may want to travel, turn their back on a circumstance because they see their ships coming in elsewhere. I believe you're trying to manifest your ships coming in. Good news, moving away from rough waters to calm waters. Good news comes in, what happens? You end up having the time to heal. You end up making the decision. Then you're kind of sitting on the fence between the decisions you see. And it brings you a time to sit there and actually find balance before you make a decision. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is very important to you right now. Someone very beautiful. Someone psychic by nature. Very creative. Entrepreneur energy. Someone that you hold in very high regard. Leo energy all day long. What's crossing you from seeing this beauty? Thoughts of the past, thinking about maybe this is your adult child, thinking about your children, or thinking about having children, wanting children. Someone's walking away from childhood ideals here. Things that you learned as a child. Perhaps you learned how to manipulate. Perhaps you learned how to create illusion around circumstances in order to bring your desired action. But that's what's crossing the situation is learning how to get out of that. Seeing all that no longer serves you and cutting out the crap. We have a perfect match here. We have, but, but one person seems to be above another. It's like they have more control. So events that occur with great speed, using logic, reason, and discipline to move forward. I want you to really review your motives here. Review your motives about which way you're heading and which way you're going. Something, this decision is going to take great strength, this communication that comes in. It's like taming the inner beast of fear. It's almost like the divine coming in and force feeding you information or a bitter pill to swallow. There's a solid foundation coming your way. Two offers here, two opportunities. One could be a very challenging beginning. 
And while they could be the same opportunity, one could bring a lot of financial stability. There could be somebody around who's pregnant, uh, Taurus, Libra, energy. It's going to take great strength to deal with this situation. Trying to bring about the new. It could be about an older family member. It could be about the passing of an older family member, which puts you in some sort of energy of dealing with court situations, lawyers, that sort of thing. There could be also a transformation of birth of a child. There's an apology possibly coming in based on something that ended or good news. This is very good news. It makes you smile. It transforms something in your life. What does it transform? Oh, look at that. It takes you out of the mental fuckery and brings you straight into contact, contract with a kindred spirit. That's beautiful. Something I think you thought was going to end or an, an event that occurs and needs your immediate attention is really going to bring you to a beautiful energy. It's not going to be easy getting there, but, you know, is it ever easy getting there? What's crossing the situation is believing what's just will happen. There's no justice. I think you feel like there's no justice in circumstance situation. But there is. And the divine's here to show it to you. Definitely could be dealing with the justice system and feeling all upended about what's coming your way or fear what's coming your way. Look at that. The sun card twice. Oh my goodness. How beautiful is that? Oh my goodness, look at the happy outcome that's coming your way. Clarity, beauty, warmth, joy. This is all surrounding clarity, beauty, warmth, and joy. I had this in a previous reading. It's almost like you have two kids or two, two babies coming or something, like two new entries into the family. Tell me what, what the energy is going to be by the end of March, please. This is so beautiful. What a beautiful reading. Beautiful energy. Page of Cups. There's the good news. Somebody could have a child early. Uh, it could end up being a Pisces. They could come early, baby. There, there's good news coming. New relationships, new spiritual connections. The two of wands, making a decision. Good news coming in, making a decision based on that good news. And we have the moon, not seeing the way forward per se, but good news coming nonetheless. Could be from a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer more so. And the eight of pentacles, someone willing to put in the work. Here's an opportunity for you to really put in the work. You're not going to be able to see how it's all going to turn out around you. You're not going to be able to see the end result, but I'm telling you, it is beautiful. The divine is bringing some sort of beautiful into your life. That's all I'm saying. Let's get some messages from the angels. Advice from the angels, please. Whoops. You may be a person that has a lot of pets or deals with animals in some sort of way. You may be changing how it is that you work with animals, what it is that you do. Someone I'm getting has breathing issues surrounding allergies that can be sorted out. I feel like you need to see a health professional, whether a naturopath or doctor, whichever suits your fancy. You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. That's it. Do not compromise yourself based on what you want. Because I'm telling you, it's all coming. Man, the divine is bringing some sort of beauty to you. And it could very well be through fire signs or air sign, such as yourself. Libra energy. No, conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. So there's some news that comes in that ends up putting almost like a halt or a dead end to a circumstance. And it's because it's not favorable right now. You're waiting for divine to spin that wheel so that, so that the timing is correct in divine timing. 
you have a special bond with the animals. See, I would say your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by the angels. Someone may have lost an animal or a pet recently. Or you're thinking about it may be their end time. Perhaps that's what the divine is saying. Not just yet. Not just yet. Wait a little bit. Don't jump the gun here. Justice, there's something with this animal or with people and the animal that needs to be served. Justice needs to come into the situation. That animals come into our life not just to be there to love on. They are part of our soul contract. So perhaps in a past life or in a past circumstance, someone made a decision for you and cut you out of a situation that was beautiful for yourself, but it needed to have divine timing or you needed to make the decision to do that. And in order to pay back that karmic tie, it may be your time to make the decision, but the divine is saying, please just wait. Not yet. Not yet, not just yet. Love your animal, hold your animal. Hold them close to your heart. They are filters. You hold them, your energy is, is whatever it is, and they come in and they filter all that energy into positive, beautiful, grounding your chakras energy. Animals are pure connection and love straight from the divine. I love you guys. I hope this resonates. I'll talk to you again soon.